actually we are going to look at the type of questions pertaining to indices now basically there's around four different types of questions that may be asked firstly it could be a simplifying question and for simplifying it could be a direct use of the law of indices means um, a lot of uh, multiplication and divisions involved or it could be simplifying by use of factorization and for the second type we may be asked to find a particular value the third type we could be asked to solve and we could solve by just comparing exponents on the left and the right hand side or we could also use substitution to help us solve and finally we could also have a case of simultaneous equations um, involving indices so let's look at the simplifying where it's the direct use of uh, the law of indices so given this um, question you realize that this is base 3 and this is base 3 and this is a times so which means that we can use the first law of indices so first law of indices said that is the, this is a times we can actually add up the powers so this is what we are going to do and for the denominator this is a 9 base 9 so we can try to change it to base 3 all right so this is what we have 3 squared so we can do next is that we simplify whatever we have here so n plus 2n we get 3n 2 plus 1 we get 3 and for this one here we can use the third law of the indices law so which is 2 times negative 3n so we get negative 6n now this one here is actually like a division all right so the second law of the indices law says that we can actually combine them together and use a subtraction so we have 3n plus 3 minus this is not the one here all right this division we have the minus here and this original uh, exponent is negative 6n so we have negative 6n here all right so what we'll have is that 3n subtract negative 6n this will add up to 9n and this 3 we just have to rewrite it and this is just that all right so this is a simplified form now we could also have a second case of simplifying where we, we would have to use some form of factorization. Now how do we know that we have to use some form of factorization? It is basically quite straightforward. Here you will see that this is a subtract. There is no way that we can actually combine them using the law of indices like how we did previously because um, that one we had a multiplication and division. So when we have a subtraction or an addition, when we need to simplify, it will have to be a case of having to use some form of factorization. So how do we go about it? Now let's look at the number 8 and 2. You realize that 8 can be written in the form of 2 cubed. So this is what we can change to. 2 cubed and we have x plus 2 from the original one and this one here minus 34 we just leave it and this one here we also leave it now when we take a square root right this is actually the same as power of half right so we can actually change it to 8 to the power of half 2x plus 4 all right now, let's apply some of the law of the indices. So what we can do is that we can expand. So we have 3x plus 6. And for this case here, again, I'll just copy it out. No difference. And I will simplify this. All right, half of 2x, I'll have x. Half of 4, I will have 2. And just as we had previously, 8 to power, sorry, 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. All right now from here what we can do is that maybe what we can do is that we will break this by using the first law of the indices so we have 2 to the power of 3x times 2 to the power of 6 and this one here we have negative 34 and again this is the original one now for the denominator remember we said that 8 can be changed to 2 cubed then we still have the x plus 2 here now you will realize that we have 2 to the power of 3x for the first term and we have 2 to the power of 3x for the second term. So these are common factors. So we can factorize this one out. So we have 2 to the power of 3x. So from here when we factorize this out, this is what we have left. And 2 to the power of 6 is actually the same as 64. From here we factorize out 2 to the power of 3x. So what we are left with is 34. Now let's look at the denominator. 
Again, we can use the third law of the indices and we just uh, multiply it out. So we have 2 to the power of 3x plus 6. Okay, so at the numerator, we have 64 minus 34, which will give us 30. Denominator, using the first law of the indices, the reverse of it, we have 2 to the power of 3x times 2 to the power of 6. And you will realize that, hey, 2 to the power of 3x and 2 to the power of 3x may be divided out. So these two terms are divided out. So what we will have left is that we have 30 on the numerator and 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. And when we reduce it, we will just have 15 over 32. So there you have it. 1, the previous example, which was just direct law of indices. And for this case, we had to use factorization simply because there was a subtraction here.